My name is Brian Perez. I live in Orange, California. Instagram, Pez underscore one, I believe. My favorite prop is Poi for sure. I've been spinning Poi for about, ooh, that's a good question, 10, 11 years maybe. The first exposure was probably when I was really young. The movie Labyrinth, I'm pretty sure a lot of people started with the whole contact juggling. That was my first exposure, but like, I don't know, I've always kind of been into juggling, playing with sticks and manipulating the basketball and all that stuff, but like, uh, not too long ago I got into it. Someone bought me a Silex implosion ball and like I messed around with it. Somehow that led to going to desert parties and, and seeing people spin poi, so yeah. My buddies, we took me to a desert party, uh, like a moon tribe or whatever it's called. They didn't even like spin poi the whole time. Like I kind of seen people off to the side doing it, but I didn't really think of anything. I was like really into the music, dancing to the turbo sound. And then like the sun started to peak, you know, and like no one was really doing the fire spinning thing. And they busted out their fire play. Like I said, and I have no idea that that's what they were doing. <laughs> like they didn't even were involved with that. And like, I don't know what it was, but they kind of synced up. And like, there was this moment where they were synced up and just like, I just, it just blew me away. And I was just like, that is really, really cool. I think I want to do something like that one day. <laughs> and then pretty much went home and got right into it. Made a pair of song play and all that good stuff. Low state. <laughs> I feel that's a loaded one for us old schoolers. Cause it's like flow versus tech almost, you know? So flow state, I don't know, just feeling the music, having fun, going viral, smashing them likes. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know, like I said, that one I almost would probably say pass, but um, yeah, meditative state, kind of like when you're just feeling it, going to the groove with the music, everyone around you's feeling it. They're all grooving and everyone's kind of in this zone, you know? I don't know if you've ever felt that when you're in the fire circle and it's just a certain song comes on and everyone's vibing. That would probably be the closest to flow for me. <laughs> what mostly inspires my flow would probably be seeing some of the newer cats like you guys and, and even some of the older cats that are still holding it down because I took some time off from the flow scene and to come back and still see people crushing it was mad motivational and inspiring so it got me right back into it just seeing that and that will probably always be in the back of my head kind of pushing me and driving me for sure and more contact <laughs> it's contact contact like i said i was always like fascinated by the contact stuff growing up so just seeing that all come together like spinning poi like i knew about contact but i didn't know like the scenes connected and then like I saw people doing the contact juggling when I finally went to a flow festival and like why can't we connect all that and like it all started like meshing together and I just want to try to throw contact in every little sequence I can think of. When I do get into a training sessions I'll probably drill hard just like mostly folding lines both hands or just straight up left hand all day. Once I get like a real hard like sweat going from that then I'll just go and put a tune on and just start doing patterns and trying to throw the contact stuff I wound up on into everything that's pattern, whatever you call pattern spinning or. Oh man, a long time ago, I used to build props. They would come up every once in a while. I'm not sure if they still had an Etsy shop, but it was like, they had other stuff on there, like lamps and arts and crafts stuff they did. So like, I've heard about them and we used to trade secrets and like I would post stuff, they would post stuff, we'd ask each other questions and then like, um, I would send them, I remember when Technora started, started dropping, I made a video on how to splice Technora and I heard from that from uh, Lantern Smith, I saw it. My boy Grey Blue, shout out, he um, met up at the park with a pair of poi from Charlie and like, I scoped them and I was like, oh, I know what's going on here and I went home and I spliced it and I showed everyone and like everyone blew up on the internet, the whole Technora thing and like, I remember talking to Britt and Kel about it, I don't remember who specifically, it may be Kel, but I sent them a roll of Technora and like they sent me, I didn't need anything because we were just trade parts and like secrets and stuff. So I didn't need anything at the time. So I went on their Etsy and was like, I'll take some plastic lamps. You know, they had these cool lamps. So like, we're trading Technora and lamps and stuff. And that's pretty much how I got to know who they were and um, Flow and Fire was because we were both into this uh, Poi group called Poi Hardware back in the day. And, it was pretty big back in those days and it was competitive so they were definitely around and 
Um, I don't know if anyone remembers me still, but I was definitely one of the people pushing the props back in those days. So that's how I kind of got to know him, through the prop building scene. I, I took a long break off from Flow Arts to take care of my grandparents before they passed away. So like I disappeared from the scene and then they eventually did pass away and I came back and I said, like, you know my boy were nasty and I cleaned them up and they were even more nasty. So I was like, where do y'all get new, you know, poi from? And everyone was just blasting, flow on fire, flow on fire. And I'm going, huh. So I go check out the Etsy and just like blown away, like a little overwhelmed. I didn't even know how to like scan through everything and was just like, wow. So um, I bought some poi off of them and, and we got to talking again, like I said. And some of my friends came over that know them. Um, shout out to Hop and Courtney. They know them also from Maine. And they were here visiting, we're having lunch, and like I went to use the restroom and I got a message and I came back and it was like they were offering a sponsorship and I was just like blown away. And that just them like reaching out to me would probably be what wanted me to be part of the team. And obviously seeing all the badass spinners that spin for the team also, being a part of that and what they are doing right now and obviously having access to all the props that they created, which is basically the visions I had before I stopped building and injured myself and they just took it and ran with it and so everything's there that I could ever need or ever wanted so like I, that's, it's just too easy now. <laughs> that obviously made me want to be part of the team also because it's endless options basically. My favorite part about being on the team is just being part of a community that's driven and just seeing how motivated some of these kids are. I still feel like there's a lack of um, knowledge there that and just really easy basic stuff too, but that's just me personally, stuff I see. Um, stuff I would wanna see from everyone is just everyone to be more happy and going out and having more fun and getting on with our lives, you know, getting past this whole thing. Shout outs to the team, Britt and Kel, awesome. Matt, you're the man, dude. <laughs> um, everyone who's on the team, everyone who spins, everyone who's dope out there, everyone who holds it down in Poi Chat, especially the admins, it's a rough job. And I'd say that's about it. Be hard!